enjoying all the action. I know a lot of them will be backing Ryan Callanan in this seat. Who's had a lot of success out here at Bells in the past. This back end makes so much sense as he takes on a bit of an unknown at Bells, a rookie on tour making his debut, Ian Gentile. And while we got a lay down takeoff, this is Ian Gentile up and riding a narrower stance. Wow, cracks one off the top there. You can see uh, his board actually skipped completely out of the water there, but gets that final turn. That was a great finishing move. Perhaps there's one more down the line here. Looking nice and relaxed, cuts back, rebound. Is he going to get one final hit? To win that year, Maxine beat Jadson in that final back of the day, as we see Arkell. Wow, just attacks that final section. Radical. Gentile shoves it in the pocket real quick. Little setup there. And the surfer from Maui will shut it down. Tough section to keep your board on top of, but he did well there. Yeah, staying busy, Hunter. It's like the things you do and won't do when you have a jersey on, you're never kicking out, are you? No, you ride it till the absolute death. Gentile on his finish. Just the relationship with the ocean. He said identifying the good sense, and, and that was really easy for him. But just having a set of eyes that can identify the wave that he wants. Not everybody has that skill set as good as John. Bumpy face here, but Gentile's going to swing into it. All patience now. Now stepping on the gas. The rookie connects there. Passing Maxime oh. and a big layback that hammer to shut it down. We've seen versions of that layback that definitely got him through the elimination round earlier this morning, but he's got more in it. Let's check this one out. And like John was saying, you want those ones with a big lump down in the channel because once they get onto the inside section, it stands right up and you get these big finishing moves up and over the whitewash there, keeps the accelerator on and then bam, slams into that oncoming section. And a great finish to that ride. As we watch the slow-mo, just all the weight on his back foot, drives it round, watch his body compress. And then he'll extend out of the turn here. Excellent technique. Hold that thought, live action. Gentile, bit of chatter on the bottom of that sharp eye. Looking solid as he winds up to the top. Meets that section well. Now frames it up with a beautiful snap on the end section. I feel like he's got a nice, healthy rhythm in this seat. A 6.5, a 6.10. And now another way to factor in. That's right. Plenty of time. That one's just getting started. Also a replay for Ryan Callanan. Starting off with a lot of foam on the face, but I think he saw something special in the inside. Well, again, this one's got that big lump down the line. And the smooth face just cleaned up. Arkel belts it once, belts it twice on the backhand, just navigates through that gnarly section. And that is the signal. I've broken my board, I've creased my board. Where's my caddy? Likes to just see the, the humor in the day and just keep things fresh and fun. Loves good buddies and loves good surfing. Here's Ryan again. Moving down the line with some speed. How is that? Attacking, almost coming down. Regains control, and now belts it again. So smooth, with a lot of finesse. <laughs> and I love just styling your way through. Ryan Cowan starting to feel it a little bit. He sat for a while, and after that 7-4, he might as well keep surfing when it's pumping like this. Yeah, I don't mind it. It was sort of an inside wave. He got that one under everyone who was out the back. He was searching for boards and made that switch to JS, so he's had quite a few years on him now. Yeah, the JS is looking really good under his feet and you can see there just had to wind the windows up but sets himself perfectly up for that final hit and uh, jazz hands for ryan callanan he's up and riding again this is live ryan now blowing the tail out cool looking drift using a lot of the wave on the backhand carve wave had a little pothole in it but he still maintained his rail line and now he looks engaged for 
A snap off the lip. Patience off the bottom, much more vertical. Feels like just a, every part of this wave is trying to throw speed bumps at him. So now Ryan just having a blast, going rail to rail. How's that victory lap for Arkell? Having some fun, 7-4 and a 6-9-7 as he's moving on into the round of 16.